Screencast here is going to cover Chapter 3 in InDesign, Lesson 3 and 4. Just to give you an idea of what it's going to look like when we're completed, check it out. When it's completed, here's what it's going to look like. We're going to have on our spread page 2 and 3, it's going to be blue and green with white text that says location. 4 and 5 is going to be red and green. 6-7 is going to be uh, that blue and yellow with a flipped, and then 8-9 green-blue, and 10-11 green-blue. <clears throat> what we're going to have is three different masters, and we're going to apply things to the master and update master C the whole time. <clears throat> if that wasn't confusing, well, let's get into it. Pause as we're going through this because there's, <clears throat> it's going to be very tedious as we go. So on your setup document, on your setup document, we're going to come up here to our Pages panel. Again, on our Pages panel, we're going to come up here to the Option drop-down arrow, which is this little guy right here. Options drop-down arrow. We're going to go to Panel Options. When we go to Panel Options, what we want to do is we want to deselect the Show Thumbnails checkbox. Go ahead and click OK. All right, and let's go. Let's go ahead and scroll through things. Uh, so, because of, there are three masters, they're all similar in color. Having page thumbnails hidden only when page icons showing is going to make it easier to see what page have been applied. So, it's going to come up so we can see those. When we start changing colors, it'll start to make sense. What we just did doesn't affect anything right now, but it will when we start changing colors. Okay, in the pages panel, what we're going to do is Double, go ahead and double click uh, mas C Master, and we're going to apply some things to the C Master. So in the Pages panel, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on B Master. See how I'm doing this? I'm going to click on B Master, and I'm going to apply that to the spread four and five. So watch this. So I drag it down. I want to apply it to four and five. So how do I do that? I click and I hold until I move the cursor. So I get a black border around spread four and five. I can't do it just on five, I can't do it just on four. I've got to hover until I get both of them and then let go. If I screw up, I'm gonna command Z. So that should read the B master right there. Using that same method, I'm gonna apply the C master to spread six and seven. So I'm gonna grab C master and I'm gonna drop it on six and seven, but I have to have both of them highlighted six and seven. I'm going to let go, so it should read A, B, C, A, A. Now I'm going to go up to the page panel options, that menu drop down arrow. I'm going to click apply master to pages. Apply master to pages. So what I'm going to do now is I want to apply the master, B master, to my pages 10 and 11. We're doing the exact same thing we just did. It's just a different way of doing it. Click OK. So now when you look at your page master, you've got an A, B, a C, an A, and a B. That's your layout. So you've done your layout. Now we can actually start changing the colors of things so we can get different looks on our entire document before you would say print it. Okay, do a command is to save. And on the C master, let's double click page three. Double click page three. C master, double click page three. Go ahead and get on your selection tool. And when you're on your selection tool, notice that when you click on objects, you can't actually click on the objects themselves. That's because they're locked in as part of the A master. You would have to go to a different master to change it. There's a way to get in and piece it apart. And here's how you do that. Um, Go ahead and hold down Shift and Command and click on the word Location. That's going to free up from being locked. I'm going to go over to the Type tool, select the word Location, type in Manarola. M-A-N-A-R-O-L-A. -A -A. I'm going to click the pasteboard to deselect. Do a Command S to save. Now what we're going to do is start changing the actual colors. Double click the word location to select it. 
I'm sorry, on the A master. So go to your selection tool, go to the A master. Okay, now that we're in the A master, double click the word location to select it. Go to the swatches palette. So once again, I'm on the A master. I just went to location on page two, three there, the spread two, three. I'm gonna open up my swatches palette and I'm gonna select the color paper. Just a predetermined thing to do. I'm gonna click off of the pasteboard to select it. Notice that it turns location to white. Nothing too different there. Now go to your selection tool and I want you to select the yellow box that is behind location. Select the yellow box that's behind that. Now I want to come up here to your options bar. Your options bar, notice you have your fill color and your stroke. Change your fill color to green and your stroke to black. Let's move down the page. Let's select the other yellow box, the big giant yellow box at the bottom. Let's change our fill color to green, stroke color, black. Now, another thing we have is this horizontal line. Go ahead and select the horizontal. The horizontal line that dissects the two blue areas. Go ahead and select that horizontal line. Come up to your options bar and you can see the actual color that you have for it. Let's click that drop down arrow and let's select the red color. So you did this on the A master slot, the A master piece. So if I go back to my pages panel here, I did this on the A master. Let's double click the B master now. It's all about where you're actually selected. All of the changes you made to the A master except one are going to be reflected on the B master because when we made the B master, we based it off of the A master. We linked it. Okay, now double click the C master. Notice that the C master is changed, is not changed because we didn't base it off of it. If you go through on the C master, I'm going to zoom out here a little bit. If you go through the C master and see that you have a applied to page two and three, you have B applied to page four and five, you have C applied to six and seven, uh, A is applied to eight and nine, and B is applied to 10 and 11. So we've got these templates that are stored somewhere else, and we don't touch them. We pump them out to the C master, which is our final document. Okay, let's go to the C master, and let's double click eight and nine. Notice that you have a master applied to that. Now let's view spread 10 and 11. Let's view spread 10 and 11, and we're going to change a couple things on this one. Let's go ahead and click on our selection tool and select the large blue box. If you can't click on the large blue box, you need to do a command shift click. Command shift. Now we can actually free up that blue box. With that blue box selected, let's go up to the top on our options bar and let's change our fill color to red. Actually, let's go ahead and undo that. I missed a step. Let's go ahead and undo that so it's still blue. Now that we have it selected, go up to the Pages Panel Option drop down arrow and point to master pages and say detach the selection from the master if you make make sure you get that step pause or rewind or something make sure you get detach detach the selection from the master okay now when we go in here and we change it to the color red it won't affect the entire B master okay go ahead and click to deselect and let's double click the B master when you double click the B master notice that it didn't change the color because we detached it from the actual piece. Now let's double click um, in the B master. We got the B master selected. Let's change the, the fill color of our large blue box to red. That's on the B master. Change your fill color to red on the blue box. Let's go to page four. Go to page six and seven, notice the changes. Notice how what changed, what didn't. Let's go to page three in the document. 
Notice on page three in the document, you still have that text right there. It says uh, Manarola. Go ahead and select that text box that says Manarola. Let's go to the drop down arrow on the pages panel. And let's go down to Master Pages. And let's say Removed Selected Overrides. When we do that, what it's going to do, it's going to go back to the B Master and it's going to say, what was the last thing you changed with that location piece? And it's going to put that part in. So we overrode it at first, and then we, and then we undid the, the changes. Double click the C Master. Let's look at what we got here. We got spread. Go ahead and do this. Double click C Master and go view, fit spread to window. And let's go spread two and three, four and five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11. Notice how the changes are all there. If it's not exactly that, I want you to stop, get with, a, with your neighbor, and get things figured out uh, to make sure that you got that correct. Go ahead and save the document, and that's going to conclude three and four. We'll be wrapping up with five and six in the next video.